What, 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 what? What's up, everyone? This is uh, Jamie Aston, and we're going to be doing something a little different. I have a couple of cameras going, and, um, you know, we are live. We are live in my man cave. Yes, 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 yes. And, um,. I'm gonna start out by sitting in that chair right there, but the issue is, is that I'm a one-man show. We have uh, multiple cameras and um, all that type of stuff like that. So, you know, what we're gonna be doing is going over my fishing tackle. Uh, sometime last year, I did a, 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 a video where I went over all of my fishing poles, and um, you know. You all didn't see me talking or anything like that, <laughs> but those are all my video, uh, my fishing poles, and um, you know a lot of people had questions. It was a good video. Uh, recently, since the coronavirus started up, I created that wall rack, so all of my fishing poles are on the wall. But now, you know, we're going to be going over the fishing tackle. What I want to do is create a, a, a series of videos. We did the fishing poles. You all have seen uh, different things with the boat. We're going to go through my float tubes. We're going to go through my kayaks. And we're going to be looking at some gear that I take out when I'm fishing on the bank. So hopefully we can hit um, you know, specifics for uh, various types of fishing that we all do. You know, Some people just do a couple of things. I remember when I was just on the shore, my best investment was a... Um, um, kayak I remember I got so tired of fishing the California Delta from the shore sick of it and I went home that evening and I found a kayak and I was like who does this it wasn't as popular as it is now it was way back and I'm like man who does this and there was a guy named Zoffinger who had the poor man's fishing kayak series that set me off I was more in love with uh, working on those kayaks than anything else then I got a float tube and just went on from there. You all saw the Intex Mariner videos. I get a lot of people, Jamie, make a Mariner video. I sold it to people after I got my boat. Sorry. Uh, it was just too much carrying around my back. But I'm going to begin to know another one. So, I have a lot of fishing gear. That's one thing about it. Um, you never, ever have enough fishing gear, even though you only take out the same little bit of gear at a time. And even still, what we go over today, this is not everything. This is just some of my gear but I want to go over uh, the specifics of what I really like to use and since I really like to use I want to show you all how I have it set up we're not going to be talking about too many rigs today um, about how to's or anything we're just going to be opening up my bags and the crates and taking inventory it's been a minute since I've uh, looked at all of this stuff so we're going to uh, go ahead and uh, show you all everything so let's go ahead and do this right here let me uh, just make sure this thing is good right here um, I don't think that's working out for me let's see here yeah it's not working out so there we are we'll just stick to that um, this is some of my gear right here. We have this crate, and then we have a couple of bags right here. It's not all of the bags, not all of the things. So, this bag is my main fishing backpack. This is what I I kind of update seasonally because um, you know I'm gonna take it. I can wear it on my back if I'm gonna fish from the shore, but I usually take it on the boat. This used to be a boat bag, but I don't take this out much. Eventually, what I'm going to do is I will set this up and let it just be a boat bag. Let my backpack be for when I'm fishing from the kayak and things like that. I have a smaller bag that's specifically for the kayak. And, um, you know, I have a bag that I can even put on my bikes. This crate. Now, this crate is <laughs> Pandora's box. So before we get into the crate, I'm going to put it to the side and we'll go through the backpack and then the back boat bag. All right, this is a bag I picked up from Bass Pro Shops. Uh, they have one already. 
uh, that they're currently selling. They sell it for about 60 bucks, but a couple of years ago, they put this silver one out during the holidays for 25 bucks. I, I went back to get a second one and it was sold out. I haven't seen it since. It's an excellent bag, sunglass holder, but it has a place where you can push fishing lures and things like that. So a lot of times at the end of my fishing trip on the boat, I'll just throw lures into this pocket right here. This top pocket right here is usually where I keep batteries for my uh, cameras. On the side, medical kit, and depending on the season, uh, some type of gloves. These are just good for the sunshine, keep the hand, sun off your hands and things like that. So I have there. You can use a drink holder and stuff. This top pocket is like a cooler, but I carry a lot of gear. So I start carrying uh, a lot of times brand new gear inside of it. Like this is a crappie kit that I made. It's just uh, some crappie lures. Um, some being my favorite. Oh my putt. These right here are, man, they kill them. And uh, I've only found one place that sells those. And I mean, I've I've tested them against everything. Even a live minnow and those things outfish a live minnow. And that's serious. This is one of my Ned Rig boxes right here. Terminal tackle. I am always, uh, I always have to have this, this, this case. The second thing to this case that I use that has terminal tackle because when I'm in a float tube or on a kayak, I have a fishing vest on and it's an Altoids case. And it has a little bit of everything inside this Altoids case. And that's what I'm always looking for. That's garbage. Something I open up new. This is a new Ned Ocho. Um, um, I haven't used those yet. These puppies right here, I have been killing fish with those. Z-Man Krusties, Z-Man TRD Crawls, both of them catching fish. Um, then we have these new um, Baby Sticko Crawls, Robo Worm, of course, some of these Berkley Power Bait, uh, Cinco Light Words. If uh, y'all know, I, I, I'm, and you're going to see it in a second, how much uh, Z-Man products I have. But um, this is uh, Strike King. They're using a Lazatech from Z-Man. They sell these packs for $3.99, where Z-Man usually starts around $3.50. So, um, oh no, $3.99, Z-Man starts at uh, $4.50. So, you can save 50 cents by buying these Zero Tech. Of course, you're buying these long Cinco's, cut them in half, you have a perfect net rig. Other new stuff I bought, JKS for crappie, uh, look at that 65 pound braid for something and then some six pound crappie max and some hooks See, some of this stuff actually has to go in this box i have down here so um some more baby cinco see uh sticko crawls and uh some more crappie lure so a lot of times i'll buy some new stuff and i don't have time to go and put it in this crate yet so i'll just carry it around with me for some time these are really good right here these are uh braid scissors they're actually made out of ceramic you don't even want to drop these on the heart deck or anything they will break but they cut braid real easy if you're trying to use metal scissors on braid or you're trying to use a knife and you always have frayed line find you some of these uh, ceramic scissors these were uh rig wrap rig wrap that's what these are brand i guess i have a couple of pair you all are gonna see whenever i buy something i like it i have multiple of it so we're not gonna organize a box just yet i'm gonna put this stuff right back where it came from Put it right back. You all say, man, Jamie, it's a lot of junk. It's unorganized. This top pack is a catch-all. <laughs> it is my catch-all. So, great. Let's get down to the meat and potatoes. What am I carrying right now? All right, got four stowaways. One of these is actually broken. I have to fix it. All right, that's what we have inside. Four stowaways. But there's a pocket right here. And we have some stick bobbers and things like that. Lighted bobber. And we even have a wacky rig setup tool. Front pocket right here. We have, uh, in case you break your rod tip, there was a tournament I was fishing with Will. My friend Will. We were fishing in uh, Lake Comanche in uh, Oakland or Hayward, wherever that thing is. You all, I broke my rod tip walking down the deck. <laughs> and um, no, there was no rod uh, repair kit with me or anything like that. 
and I just searched around and I found a paper clip. Paper clip and duct tape. And that wasn't my first time making a rod guide out of a paper clip. But you got you gotta do what you gotta do. Old fishing license glue for when I'm rigging up net rigs on the spot and of course a lighter might get caught in the fire I mean uh, you need a fire but also the melt plastic sometimes I melt my plastic lures and then we got a little bite insect sting wipe things like that in case you get stung by something side pocket I don't always fish for the whole lot of stuff like this but I have it never know when I'm fishing with other people and uh, we have some uh, crappie nibbles or whatever these things are, maggots, a lot of that Berkeley junk, you know, crickets and juice, and then these little fake worms. Believe it or not, sometimes they have, you know, I've had, I've used them. A lot of times, uh, it might be when I'm fishing with someone and we just need to get some fish in the boat and uh, I don't have any live bait and nothing else is happening and I want to let them catch some fish. So, you know, we have that. You're all about to see some magic right here. Some people won't reveal what they use when it comes to this stuff right here, but I am going to show you because a lot of it um, isn't necessarily, um, I didn't think of it. Uh, we have some uh, Bass Classic Bait Mate. I don't use that much. This stuff has been around forever, for years. You know, the crappie stuff, I have some of that. I guess it's not in here with me. Um, now this uh yum we got this young crawfish scent and then we got the shad scent i use those a lot liquid mayhem we use that that's crawfish scent we even have some of this crawfish uh by bait max right here it's like a stick of deodorant or what have you you can rub on your lure i like these uh these waxes and stuff because they stay on your lure and you can put them on hard baits these oils come off and of course these juices come off this is some you know, carp spit gel or something i got from some catfish tournament i was in they're just handing that stuff out these are the magic <laughs> this is the magic right here mega strike if you aren't using mega strike on your dog on trds here here it is i'll be fishing and i find the spot and I say, yep, I'm going to catch a fish right here on this next cast. I'll take my net rig out of the water, slide a little mega strike on there, put it right back in the pocket. Bam, bam. I'll, I'll do about 10, 10 casts before I'll put some more mega strike back on. But it seems like that that first or two hits after I put mega strike on and I'm dragging that thing slow is just enough to get them. You got Roland Martin name on here, Lee Bailey Jr. Jr. Um, I like the crawfish scent the most. And then there's just a regular original scent. So one's going to be a little clear. One's going to be a little brown. Uh, I, I like crawfish scent the, the most. I have tubes and tubes of this stuff. I use it here. I use it in Arkansas. And where I got that idea from, that's not my original. That came from Dunn of uh, previously named... Uh, Winky Doodles, but it's now Show Me Fishtails. You all check him out if you don't. He is one of my featured channels. Um, he's the one who hooked me up to a net rig. I know a lot of people see Jamie Banks and they see, uh, you know, I'm I'm big on the net rig. But it all started with Don saying, hey, Jamie, you need to try this out. I like to say that we have a connection because Don is in Missouri and I'm from Arkansas. So, you know. That finesse fishing, you know, is, is in my blood, too. So, that Midwest fishing. I remember when I started using the net rig, everyone was using the drop shot. I never used the drop shot. Never used the drop shot until last year. Until two years ago, first time I started using the drop shot. And it catches fish. Don't get me wrong. But I just never use it. And everyone around here I would talk to, oh, we drop shot in the Delta. We drop shot, drop shot, drop shot, drop shot. Everybody drop shot. I started doing that net rig years ago. My goodness. Now everyone does an air rig. You rarely hear the drop shot as for, drop shot as far as uh, you know. Anywho, I have these uh, set up as we got some soft baits in here. Um, crawfish, love those. They'll catch fish real good and easy. Inside here, I got looks like I have some little wobble shaky head stuff with a little tail on it. Um, I can tell you right now what's happened. Some of this stuff has just got mixed in because here's a chatterbait. It shouldn't be in here. 
Um, we might put it where it needs to go. But we have a lot of creature baits. Uh, crawfish, worms, you know, pal tail worms, you know, things like that. Propeller, um, tubes, crawfish, all that type of stuff. A lot of little creature baits and stuff. That's what we have in there. We have a little minnow, but it's not supposed to be in there. Right here. Man, I know you all really like to see this. I think I'll go get it out of the boat too. If you just have to give me a moment. Uh, right here we have some, looks like some swim baits and stuff. It's kind of a mix. I need to really reorganize this thing because it's not all. Um, I kind of, we have jerk baits up top. Some of these jerk baits. That's a really nice on top. It's a live target. But we have those jerk baits. That, those Rapala Countdowns, if you saw them in there, yes, I love those puppies right there. Those jerk baits, you know, they'll catch fish easy. Uh, looks like I got this little Z-Man uh, frog popper in there for whatever reason. And uh, But it looked like I was just looking for a spot to put it, and I threw a Krusty's in there. Those are all catch fish. This is a live target shad, and some little bluegill I picked up not too long ago. Um... I am, you all are going to see in a second, but I love, bluegill is my favorite fish in the world. You see that on the wall right there? There's a catfish, but you see that bluegill? You know, the bluegill is my favorite fish. So, I just have an affinity for bluegill lures, even if I don't use them. I love them. Uh, we have some topwater frogs, whopper ploppers. I know everyone uses whopper ploppers. I rarely use them, but you're going to see I have a lot of them. Uh, we have this uh, turtle. You know, Palatel, Lunker Hunt, Terrell, and Lunker Hunt thing right there. Don't use them ever, honestly. Uh, this is left over from the summer. This little rat right here, though? Yeah. Yes. This thing? I think it's made by Live Target, too. Yes, sir. I, this one, the Kitchen Bass. These little topwater frogs, they'll get bass, too. And uh, these are Show Me Money, Show Me the Money, um, Swim Baits, Bass Pro Shops. I have a small size and a larger size. I have to get you all my my real swim bait box in a little bit. It's actually on the boat. Um, hard baits. Some of the hard baits I have. So we have some rattle traps in here. There are some little small crank baits that shouldn't be in here. These micro crank baits they should not be in here. We'll fix it later. We have some flicker shads and shads. Catch fish, catch fish, catch fish. Love these things right here. They catch fish. Um, this little cheap little Bass Pro Shops crankbait right here. They cost $1.97. You'll see them in the bargain bin. These things catch fish. People, they catch fish. This clicker shad should not be in here with it. Another one that catches fish, though, are these Rapala. I'll pull this one out since it's not connected to anything else. These Rapala jointed... Uh, Little crankbaits right here, they catch fish. All of those catch fish. I bought these um, crankbaits right here. I think this is a live target. Getting the hook caught up all up in my finger and stuff. It's a live target crawfish crankbait. I love crawfish crankbaits. I love crawfish lures, period. I have caught nice fish on this one. Fishing in a tournament, that one did me good. This one is a deeper one. It's a, made by Cabela's actually. And um, it's a solid crankbait. Oh my goodness. I'm just getting happy thinking about it. Catch fish with those all the time. Uh, we have some deep divers in here. Uh, live target bait ball. Uh, I can't wait to use this one. It's a little bluegill crankbait. You see there? I love these bluegill lures. Um, and then in this, this one shouldn't be in there actually. But... What we have in here are shot shallow water crankbaits, you know, dive just a few feet on the surface. Little wobble wart looking thing right here. Not sure what brand does this. I think this is either Cabela's or, X, or uh, Bass Pro. But, um, yeah. Six point, this one dives six feet right here. Look at that. It looks like a little mean little pumpkin seed right there. <laughs> Love it. Oh, uh, yeah. So we got rattle traps up top. Kind of a catch all. Since it's in my backpack, I don't really have all my spinner baits put away, but you know, buzz baits up top. Growing up, nothing beats better on a farm pond than a buzz bait. I mean, you throw a thing out there, you're gonna get a lot of fish. We have some fly fishing bass. 
Um, lures, this is a uh, popper frog for when I got my fly fishing rod for bass. There's another floating rod with like a bucktail or something like that. And here's a rat. They catch fish. I have fly fish for bass. And these things will get them. Got them at Cabela's. There's another floating frog. Mimp spinners and all that type of stuff. Blade baits. All in there. Alright, then we got bass jigs. I don't use them much. I actually found this one. I was fishing Lake Berryessa. And um, this little purple thing right here. I was, I got hung on something. I kept reeling it in. I found someone's lure. So, you know, I kept it because maybe they're catching fish on it. <laughs> but uh, we got a lot of doggone jigs right there. Bass jigs. Swim jigs and bottom jigs. All mixed in. I don't touch them much, honestly. Um, and inside of here, look at that. We got some little um, A-Rig. It's a mini A-Rig. They actually catch fish. Um, and let's see how many uh, chatterbaits we have inside this box. <laughs> let's see. One white chatterbait. Brown gold chatterbait with the dog on the swim tail on there. A freedom chatterbait that doesn't have a skirt on it at all. It just has a, um, a swim bait on there. You know, catches fish. Uh, let's see here. That's an underspin jig right there. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to show you all something. Unless you're in the south, you don't really see them out here in the west. This is called an H&H &H spinner. H&H &H spinners. Oh my goodness. They, they are really good in the south. Um, they see they have the double hook on here. They're not weedless. Like a regular spinner bait with the inline hook. These H&H &H spinners, that, man. They are killers. Let's see how many H and H I have in here. I probably don't have much in California. There's a bass jig right there. Uh, let's see here. Looks like some little bait ball looking rig. I bought this thing a while back. Yeah. All right, one spinner bait, single bell blade, dark color. Let's see here. Like a chartreuse. Haven't been in my spinner baits in a while. Well, and I should be, but I ain't fished this fall much. White. I always gotta have a white spinner bait. White. Here's a red and white H and H. There's a black and white H and H. Okay, here's another white spinner bait. Not all spinner baits are created the same. I have uh I'll show you my favorite spinner bait actually. And you'll see, when I tell you something my favorite or I give an affinity for, I'm going to show you why in just a moment. Here's another white spinner bait. But these right here, these Strike King, Strike King Red Eye spinner baits. Love them. Here's a Red Eye spinner bait by Strike King. Always in the famous color. Here's some smaller ones for crappie. Sometimes you just need to downsize. I think that's a bot, Yahoo, um, whatever. Pun magic. Um, booyah. Booyah. Booyah pun magic right there. There's another one that's red. Blakemore Roadrunner. Double spin. Yeah. Look at that. I made a big mess. Chartreuse. H&H. Uh, Two other little Strike King mini spins. Another Blakemore Roadrunner. So, I'm going to have to put, look at that. See, this is what happens. And um, eventually the skirts fall off. So, we'll take that buzz bait out of the pack because, you know, it needs to be fixed. In fact, we're going to leave this whole box out because I need to put some of these away. So, um, yeah. See, this is why it's important, you know. Just me pulling out for you all was incentive for me to kind of get this stuff in order. It's time. It's every season, like I told you all, I, I go through this stuff and I change things out. So we have those uh, chatter baits right there. And we get the hard baits. I'm going to slide these under this, underneath this table for now. Uh, let's see here. We'll leave that up here for now.
you all have to give me a moment. I will get my um Yeah, you I will get my uh shoot. I'll get my swim bait box from the boat, but we'll do that at the end. Okay? So um let's go ahead and open up Pandora's box. Oh, I forgot I had this. <laughs> I guess we're not ready to open Pandora's box. Let's look and see here. Oh, shoot. We won't even go through the pockets on these. Soft baits. Hard baits. Oh, some terminal tackle. Spinner baits. Man. I used to, this used to be one of my main bags, and it's kind of barren right now because I need to go through stuff. We got buzz baits right here. Um, ton of H&H &H spinners right here. I'll be beat up. <laughs> I have caught fish on this thing right here. When those skirts fall off, I'll put a swim uh, jig on there and forget the skirt. Just have that blade running like that. They'll catch fish, people. Here's one I broke a while back. I think I showed you all this. This is a broken spinner bait. But I folded up the end of it right there. And this is one of those um, rig underspin things, whatever. So I'll run through it like this. It's got a little swim tail on there. It's got a blade right up in front. So inline. Good stuff. And we have more spinner baits. Chatter bait right there. That's a really good spinner bait right there, actually. I got too much stuff. You can't use this stuff. I'm telling you all, once you all see this, you all are going to see. I'm actually wanting to give this stuff away. You know, when I first started off fishing, I'm going to show you all my first tackle box I ever had in my life. There isn't too much else in here. Let me show it to you. I'm going to show you all. This is uh, this is one of my fishing racks right here. I got, I keep gear on it. I took some of the gear off to show you all. Like those tackle boxes came from up here. What is this? Here's another tackle bag. Here's another tackle bag. This green one is a saltwater tackle bag. So I have saltwater lures and brackish water for when I'm fishing in the in the delta and stuff like that. So we're not gonna really go through it. Let's see, because I don't really do that type of fishing much at all. I'll show you a picture of what's in there. Let's see. Um lures. And then we have baits and stuff. Yeah, I don't want to go through that. I rarely take it out. This I used to take on my kayak a lot. You all have probably saw it on videos, but right now it's just full of lots and lots of fishing lines. So I have tons of fishing line in here of all different weight classes, fluorocarbon, uh, mono, all that stuff. So I just keep a, top, a lot of fishing line in here. Show you all a review on this unit later, but it's how I string my fishing line up. These two tackle bags are for the, you know, the misses. Uh, let's see here. Catfish rig box but this is my very first tackle box I ever had I was about eight years old and I still have it so there's a stick a sticker inside of a kids all-american fishing derby 1997 so <laughs> I didn't get this box in 97 but that just tells you right there how old it is so I put that thing in there and see how it has number two on here this green tackle bag was my first tackle bag. So after I got this, I started collecting lures and I would go to Walmart and dream about this $14.99 tackle bag. And finally I saved enough money up to get a $15 tackle bag. And yes, I still have it. So it's been reduced now down to a saltwater bag and stuff like that. But you know, you all don't know if you're investing in your kids with fishing, you might still have this junk when we're 34 years old. And um, you know, and you know I, I still have it. it still gets used it actually has gear in here i just keep stuff that i rarely touch though a lot of this stuff i actually inherited you know when people pass away you know people are like hey so and so had this jamie do you think you might use it sure i can get it give it to someone if i don't use it but that's the way i view this if something happens to me i don't want anyone hoarding this crap up i want it gone i want it gone put it into some kid's hands somebody's hands who can really use this stuff and we got kayak fishing stuff up here in those crates we'll go over that stuff another day um <laughs> this tackle box has a lot of catfish bait inside of it 
this one has some stuff I was going to try to do a giveaway sale on last year. I pre-made these. Are, you When you all see me using Ned Rigs, you're all going to see some in a second. But I'm going to show you some. These are my favorite Ned Rigs. Not Z-Man. Young. Every single thing in here has already been pre-made. Glued up with the jig head that I like. And I made these years ago because um, I wasn't monetizing my channel. I was going to try to see if anybody, you know, people want to buy a net rig, you know, support me by, you know, a couple of dollars. I'll send you a couple of net rigs or something like that, you know. But these are the ones when you see me catching fish on net rigs, they're usually these. Come out of my package. I just come over here and grab up more. All of these things are already pre-made in the three colors that I love the most. You know, so that is what I did. <laughs> these jig heads. Light jig heads. See, people overwork the net rig. You want to be super light. And you barely touch it. You dead stick it, you got it. So, we're going to go ahead and put this thing to the side right here. Because it is time to open Pandora's box. Uh, let's see here. What could be inside this box? What's inside this box? <laughs> Stuff that gets you in trouble. It's all brand new gear. That is what's inside this box right here. All brand new gear. I usually keep it all organized, as you're going to see in just a moment. But whenever I get new gear, I end up just throwing it inside the box right here. So, let's see. Uh, Z-Man Borhogs. We got some Nico skirts. Double A Lunker's Choice. Um, looks like some support swim baits. Let's count our swim baits in a second. Okay. We have this bass. Bluegill. Another bluegill. Some doggone smelt looking thing. Shad tea. <laughs> I'm gonna put this stuff on the side and you'll get it in just a moment. Um, there's another swim bait right there. All in the package. My lord. Why, 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 and why? Let's count the craving baits in the package. One, two. Three, four, five, six. Okay. Now I'm going to actually use this little rat, swimming little rat lure. I'll use that one time at least. Um, these spinner baits, lunker hunts. I actually like these lunker hunts, uh, spinner baits because they tie the ends of it. So if you want to use a snap hook with these uh, uh, swimmer, spinner baits, you can. Whereas a lot of them, you have to tie them on. So that's what's cool about these. So I have to get a few of those. Um, oh, shoot. Some more swim baits. Uh, more crankbaits. More crankbaits along with some little stringer that was in here. Nico skirt. These are my favorite crappie lures. And I'm going to tell you, when you all see me with something that I have multiple of, I really either just like it or it catches fish. And I'm going to point out to you what catches fish. These things right here, Southern Pro Minnow Tubes. Where are they from? Y'all know. Brooklyn, Arkansas. And them people in Arkansas fish for crappie. Crappie monsters. And they know what they're doing. And these right here catch crappie. Find you some. Oh, shoot. There's another one. Let's see here. Extra O-rings for the wacky rig. Oh, you I thought I was picking up some, but you'll see in a second why. Um, snap swivels and uh, hooks. Nico skirts. More snap swivels. More uh, bobbers. Good lord. I guess apparently I made this. I remember I made this tackle box for the summertime. And it had my top wire baits in here. Um, man, this is one of my favorite poppers right here. I think this, yeah, this is a live target frog right here. Man, in the summertime, they they kill it. They kill it. This is a lunker hunt, like, um, 
join it. Uh, a little floating stick bait like thing is joined, but it looks like two minnows. They have it in a snake pattern. I was killing Gar with that in Arkansas. Um, and of course, we got more floating frogs right here. And uh, being, let me just move you over just a little bit. More floating frogs and uh, stuff like that. So, yeah. Got that little box. I threw it in here at the end of the season is what I did. Sometimes I'll make a specialty box and throw it in my bag in that top pocket like I showed y'all with the crawfish. And, um, all right. You ready for this? We're going to take this thing down. We're going to, so you all can see it all. So I'm just going to start pulling stuff out and showing it to you on the table. So we'll leave these right here for a second because I might be putting some in. All right. This is a roll-up bag right here. Roll-up bag. And uh, what we have is in, in the top pocket, we have Z-Man Finesse TRDs and Bass Pro Shop Stick TRD looking things. Then we have Zinker Z's, which are the long ones. And we have Dingers. All in my favorite colors. If I like it, people, I have multiple of it. There are uh, four Z-Man bags in there. Right here we have, oh man, if I count up all those young dingers up in here in my colors, be surprised right there. Down here, we have Z-Man Creature. So we have Z-Man TRDs and we have the TRD tubes. Z-Man TRD tubes. Right here we just have like a um, paltail like worms. These are all paltail worms or kind of round in worms, not with the curly tail worms. I only got two packages surprisingly. No, here's some more down here, same type of worm. So I just made, I made two different spots for them. So we have the robo worms and some other stuff right there. And down here we have some curly tail worms. Back in the day, curly tail worms were what you bought. <laughs> you know, that was the main thing. You get your curly tail worm, purple, black, motor oil, blue flake, and you let that be. So this thing warms up and guess what I have in there? This thing is called Worms, TRD, Tubes, Robo, Snake, whatever. So kind of, you know, creature-like stuff. TRDs, so stick, bait. That's what I have in this Plano wrap. So see how, how tight that thing could get right there with all those lures that you just saw. Let's put this one to the side. That's one. All right. Here's another all right this one i didn't put a label on it yet apparently but we know what's in here look at all these booyah spinner baits if they catch fish for me i don't want to be in a position where i run out i have more so we got these booyah spinner baits we have strike king red eye yep strike king red eye we have a h and h and there's even a mips um inline spinner what do we have right here we have uh z-man freedom chatterbaits and you know what's funny about I have these Z-Man Freedom chatterbaits but I have four and you know how much they cost four Z-Man um, jackhammer chatterbaits but they are on my boat <laughs> they are on my boat so um, yeah the jackhammers you all know how good those are they're expensive but they're good um, Topwater old school. These are still in the package, you know. Uh, just got this long popper right here, and then these jitterbugs and hula poppers, all that stuff. I got another live target crankbait because that thing was really popping. Uh, blade bait. You see these little stupid jawbone tackle. I'm not sure who makes jawbone tackle anymore. I think it's a house brand for Academy Sports. They were selling these things for a dollar. And there's some more down here, actually. I have a whole lot of jawbone stuff. They, they're imitators of bigger brand. These things have these little crawl. They're hard baits, but they have these crawl arms that just flicker and flacker. Man, my goodness. Those crank baits catch fish. So you know I have more of them. And I was only able to find them, I think, in Arkansas. So I bought a ton of them. They have the little floating uh, bluegill and rat imitations. The rat is like not the best quality. Even the fish, like the weight is sometimes pop out. But they catch fish. So I've got more of them. Oh my goodness, some more Savage Gear Bluegills. Uh, one, two, three, right there. So you all saw the other Savage Gear Bluegill swim baits I had. <laughs> so we can roll this puppy up right here. 
And it's two wraps right there. Keep count. Keep count. All right, what do we have right here? This one looks a little sparse. <laughs> Berkeley Power Bait. Uh, these little swim baits. These are little mini size ones. I have them in white and that green color. And you see how many packages I have in here? I think I have four or five in there. They catch fish. Um, zoom. Um, fluke worms. I mean minnows. We got the flukes in there. Um, got some more swim baits right here. Z-Man poppers. The little popper frog. frog. And then we have some, uh, some more of these... Um, Show me the money shafts from Bass Pro. And then there's another little A rig, a mini A rig right there. So uh, we have those in there. I need to, I got some more stuff to put in that one. So that's three wraps. All right. Uh, did I put a name on this one? I didn't, but I know what this one is. This is like creature baits and stuff. So uh, we have Bass Pro Shops Bomb Crawfish. Right here, we have the uh, Z-Man Turbo Crawls. We have um, Brush Hogs. If you know anything about springtime, you know you want to be fishing with some doggone Brush Hogs. I love my doggone TRD, but right now you all need to be fishing with some Brush Hogs over those beds. You're gonna get them every time. Um, we have these Creature Baits right here with the little arms. This one is a Mega Strike brand. I actually bought this a Pit Boss. Um, Excite Baits, Cabela's, uh, there was something special in there because I bought it. It was Cabela Toad, the uh, BZ Toad. And then we got this uh, Custom Leech. Oh, man, I can't wait. That was going to be one of my finesse lures right there. So, uh, Japanese stuff, you know. Uh, here's another Mega Strike Tube. Um, it's a crawfish tube. And then these are Havoc Tube Baits. And uh, then we just have some regular old school curly tail grubs back in the day it was you either fish with a grub or you fish with a curly tail worm i mean bass fishing oh or you could spend some money and buy a spinner bait or a crane bait but if you were going to be in soft bait for bass curly tail worm or killer curly tail grub get them every time wrap right. and see that's the thing people don't fish for that <laughs> as much as they used to now It'd probably be what bass are hitting on these days here's another wrap this one has a lot of terminal tackle and stuff in here. So, um, yeah. In this top pocket, we have hooks on top of hooks on top of hooks on top of hooks and jig heads. And if I like it, I bought a few of them and I put them in here. And that's what we have right there. This one has a lot of more terminal tackle. We have some more extra O-rings, some little kits I can take with me inside of my pack or something. Bullet weights, split shot O-rings. Sometimes I'll find you all's old fishing lures stuck in the in the trees and stuff. I'll take them home, take those hooks off of them, take those rusty O-rings off or what have you, and put some new stuff on there, restore them, and they go in my tackle box so they get given away. Um, down here, there they are, rig wrap. That's what those scissors I was telling you about. Here's another pair right here in the package just in case I break mine or something. You know, check this thing out. I have a few of these. I have a few of these. I have a, one in Arkansas. I have one on the boat. You know, it's just got pliers and stuff in them. Forceps. Where are they at? There you go. I was about to say, I know they're in here. Forceps. I bought these things for like $3. It was worth it for the forceps alone. That's why I bought so many of them. So they just kind of sit. If I lose one, I can open up another pack. I mean, I keep telling myself every year not to go and not to buy any more fishing lures and actually i've been doing good this year because well i guess i haven't been doing too good you all see this <laughs> that bag of stuff right there all right inside of here we have wacky rig hooks uh, mushroom shroom heads finesse shrooms gama sutra gama seco what is that what is that brand Gamakatsu. There it is. I was about to make some Kama Sutra out of fishing or something. <laughs> but finesse bullets. All this. Z-Man gets my money. You all. There it is. Um, 
look at that Nico weight. So those Nico skirts that you saw me, they need to go in here drop drop shot weight. So I was telling you I don't fish with the drop shot until a couple years ago. And now I went crazy on it, and I have to make sure I have nothing but drop shot. Bait. Why am I buying more bobbers? Why, why, why? You all just saw I had some new ones and stuff, and I just have more stuff right there. Lord have mercy. Thank you, Jesus. You all. Uh, I was about to buy more of these, and look what I have. Doggone it. I remember when I bought these now. I need more of these. Those uh, ones that you all saw me take out of my uh, backpack, there was one of them that was not only broken, but I remember buying these now. I bought them because I was going to really set my gear up. I'm going to, I have so much stuff until there is no need for me to take a backpack on the boat. I can have tackle boxes on the boat that has the same thing as a tackle box that goes on my kayak, that has the same thing as a tackle box that go on my float tube, it has the same thing as a tackle box that go with me in the backpack when I'm walking the shore. Keeping those out. Here's another tackle bag. I haven't used it yet. And um, I think I paid like $8 for it on clearance. That's my problem. I go and find junk on clearance. I don't need it at the moment, but I'm always thinking, like, well, I can give it to somebody or I can use it for something. But um, it's brand new, has three stowaways in here. I like that it has a hole in the bottom, so if it ever gets any water in there, it'll just come right out. It's actually a really nice bag. So there it is. Just what I'm telling you right there. Here's another one of my bags. Uh, this one goes on like the um, handlebars of a bike, but inside up, fishing, lighter, multi-tool, all that stuff. This one could either go around your waist. Um, there used to be a belt. Uh, no, it's this strap right here that you can make it go around your waist or you could put it on side of your handlebar. So I like to take this one back when I'm in Arkansas or, you know, even here it's a good uh, bag to put on your handlebars on your bike and stuff like that. So, and shoot, I have, guess I had uh, some more doggone lures that was hanging at the bottom of that box. But wait, there's more. <laughs> We're good. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna put this box down here. All right. So I told you I took some stuff off that rack. So if I like something, and I like these attractants, these are what I used to use before I started using the Mega Strike. So I have four. Got some rechargers, especially for the saltwater stuff. Got some more of that. Got some more of this. Got some more mayhem. Got some more crappie nibbles and stuff. I don't like to fish for trout too much. Now, if I'm fly fishing, I love to fish for trout. But I know a lot of people like to go to the go to these reservoirs and they put this green yuck on their poles and they go and wait for one of these uh, stock trout trout to bite. Well, that's why I got this stuff because maybe if I got the idea to do it this stuff dried up on me it it, it dried up and crystallized it's like the salt kind of separated from itself this thing should have had a better seal so I guess I'll throw it in the garbage um, never seen that happen but I don't use this stuff enough to see if it'll dry up that old putty stuff man I just I'm sorry people I'm just not keen on fishing with this stuff I think I'll try it a couple of times just because maybe I want somebody or something, but that is just not the type of fishing for me. Funny, I have to sniff every single one of them. You don't see me doing it. <laughs> Yikes. Wow. That's a lot of junk. What do we do with all this junk? You all saw it. You saw it. I think we need to give some of this away. I think we need to give some of this away. So I'm going to do two things. I'm going to see who stays around. 
I'm gonna go jump on the boat and get my swim bait box. And um, then I wanna show you all that box. It's raining outside, so bear with me for a moment, but the boat is just right here. I wasn't thinking about it, so I apologize. I don't have it with me right now. And um, I'm just trying to plug this computer up before the battery dies on me. All right, give me a moment. I'm going to go and do that. I'm going to leave you all with a picture of <laughs> some fish I caught with those Ned rigs. Those Ned rigs I showed you in that clear plastic box, they were called on this. So look at those bass right there. Look at those big things. Those are five and six pounders. Five and six pound bass right there, you know. Go to the boat. In fact, I'll let you all see me. It's not that bad of a day out. So uh, let's go ahead and go back. Let me get washed out <clears throat> with the sunlight. Like porcupine meat. Too fat to eat. Too lean to throw away. It's like porcupine meat. Too fat to eat. Too lean to throw away. Love. Alright, there's one of those jackhammers right there. Oh, shoot. You all don't know, but my back is... Uh, just kind of stressed my back out just then. That's not good if you all have been following me. So sorry if I take a pause, but that's kind of scary. Yeah, that's the only thing with this coronavirus. I haven't been working out like I should. So um, it's the only way I'm going to stay well is I got to keep my back strong, and I haven't been doing that. So here's some more. Um, let me show you all what I do with my hooks. A lot of times with my hooks, like especially on these A rigs, I'll take a wine cork and I'll stick all three of those hooks in that wine cork, and that just made it better right there. Look at these big rattle traps. These are saltwater rattle traps, but they're great for salt in the delta. These two right here, you get them at Bass Pro Shops. So I have two of them. Stripers right here. Uh, S waivers. Here's a jointed soft bait, hard bait, Weston swim bait. Um, and some more savage gear, all that type of stuff like that. So I gotta get a lot of this stuff put away, put in the right spot. You all see this shirt right here? 
is that not just fitting it was a gift the rod father so anywho that will conclude this video i truly appreciate you all tuning in and oh yeah i said about something about you stuck around if anyone stuck around what what why do i want you to stick around Here's what you do. Leave a comment. Leave a comment about one of these lures that you saw. <laughs> Leave a comment about one of these lures that you saw. Make a very specific comment and just say, ooh, I want that one. And uh, we'll see what's up. Somebody's going to get some lures. So until then, uh, you all definitely take care. Um, this coronavirus, you know, it was a rainy day today. I was turkey hunting yesterday. I decided not to go turkey hunting today, mainly because it's Sunday. It wasn't the rain. But uh, you all social distance yourselves. For me, that still includes fishing because I am hundreds of yards away from people. Turkey hunting, I'm hundreds of yards away from people. And, um, you know, other than that, I still keep to myself. So um, if you all didn't have anything to do today or whenever you're catching this video, I'm uh, very thankful that you all tuned in to me. Um, it's a long video. I'm not sure at this point. So almost an hour. We're about to hit that hour in three, mi three minutes. So yeah, you just let me know that lure that you want in here and I'll get it to you. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm not going to say how many people are going to get this thing, but we're going to definitely be looking at the first few. The first few people that make those comments, you're going to be getting a package from me. Second thing, stay tuned. Someone is going to win this. Could be the same person. I don't know. But I got reached out uh, from Better Boat Company. Phew, Better Boat Company. They sent me instant hull cleaner, marine polish, boat erasers, and these. And not only did they send them to me, these are at my request. They said, hey, we want you to try our products. I said, I said well, sure. They said, go to our website and see what you see and tell us what you want. And we'll send it to you. So I said, okay, I'll do you one better. I said, if I, why don't y'all send me two? Send me one for me to use and send me one so I can give it away. They said, that sounds great. So they gave me two of those packages. So I've already used one. My boat is clean. My boat is clean. Let me just tell you that right now. The video for you all is coming uh, this week. But you all watch that video. Leave a comment on that video. And someone's going to win that whole kit right there. That is... You know, $60 or so worth of gear right there that you're going to get free. So, again, someone's going to be getting a lot of these free, a lot of these fishing lures. I'm not going to give you one that's been used. I'm going to give you one straight up out of the package. Straight up out of the package. So, you just let me know the lures that you like and that you want. And, uh, you know, I'll give you that one specifically, you know. Or, you know, you might get something equivalent. So, <laughs> But I'm definitely going to be getting rid of some lures. And I have two fishing reels I need to get rid of. Um, I have a never used uh, Ibu Garcia Silver Max. It's for left handed user. And uh, then I have a um, Tourney Special, Black, Black uh, Bass Pro Shops Tourney Special left hand reel. These are bait casting reels. I have a lot of bait casting reels. I'm going to just take you all around and I'll uh, show it to you. Take you around. Let's see here. And we're going to end it right here. <clears throat> All those reels. I made these rod holders out of 2 by 3 and water pipe. And this is even all my fishing reels right here. But um, these, it's, these two reels on the end right here. Uh, you see I got a lure on this one because I still use it. But it's a left hand turning special. I finally decided I'm not going to use left handed reels for my bait casters anymore. Only thing wrong with this Silver Max, it doesn't have a spool spin on there. That's not the left handed, that's the right handed. But um, the left hand is just the same. So we got those. I have all my other bait casters, I have more over there. But I need to downsize on my fishing reels too. Um, I guess it's an update to the last time I talked to you about my reels, but since I put them on the wall, I have them very specifically from like, you know, what type they are, uh, from finesse, what pound line, 
all the way down to like you know light micro fishing six pound four pound stuff like that this rod never been used this one never been used um i have a couple of reels still in the box uh fluger tryons and the president stuff like that i got some reels over here never used shoot there's a president that's never been used right there um you know i end up what happens is i, I have really good intentions but i <laughs> I keep on pulling my same stuff out and using that. So that's why I try different types of fishing. Um, I just got this new surf rod someone gave me. It's a super long surf rod. I don't do that much, so I, I can give that one away too for someone who really wants to sell. But uh, fly fishing, we have, we still have, we can talk about in the future, fly fishing setup. We're gonna talk about my kayaks. We're gonna talk about my float tubes. I have, I have three kayaks here in Arkansas. I mean, in California, two of them in Arkansas. I've had two others, you know. And I, I, I don't. I'm not a hoarder. I just, you know, certain certain reason I've had to get rid of something. Maybe my back, things like that with my back. That's why I bought a new one in Arkansas. Uh, float tube. Had to get a new one that had more back support. Things like that. And finally, I'm gonna leave with this. <laughs> Look at these turkey decoys. I, I am turkey hunting, so you know, it's my first time ever turkey hunting. I just got that vest right there. So, you know, some tips. Uh, maybe some guys in California to turkey hunt. What's up, man? What's up? I, I need help on calling. You know what I mean? I'm not the authority on turkey hunting. You know, but maybe one day in the future I might be good. Well, you know, I can be telling you all how to do something. But for now, I'm looking for help. So I got my decoys. I got all these turkey calls and stuff. And... You know, they don't got me good. The industry gets me good when, when you don't know what you're doing. You just start buying crap, you know. So, and with that, I'll do this. In my hunting video, I'm going to do a hunting video. Here's another giveaway. It's for Nintendo Switch. I already have the game, but I ended up getting a second copy. I'm going to be giving somebody hunting simulator for Nintendo Switch. But that's going to be in my hunting video. So, it's going to be very specific to a person who likes to hunt. So, anywho, uh, thank you all for watching. And uh, please leave a comment, subscribe if you have not. Please check out my Instagram channel. I am on my Instagram channel a lot more. I'm always showing fish. I'm always showing. You all don't see me fishing on YouTube very much anymore. Um, so you might think I'm not. I'm still fishing. Check out my Instagram. You will see my fishing. And finally, my breezy box. I am selling out. Every time I make a new batch, they're getting sold. And right now, coronavirus is really messing me up on shipment and supplies. So get your orders in because I'm about to hit a wall and getting new supplies in is getting real short getting coming in slow so a lot of people are getting they pay me and they get it in a few days you know just with shipping because I get it in the mail to them the next day but now my supply of products are coming in real slow so um, it's gonna be a week or something you know maybe more to get those orders in but I truly appreciate you all it's the best value out there if you need to network your garment fish finders um, you get high quality cables. Everything is working and I don't have any complaints. People love them. Thank you all. Take care. Jamie S. Now. Stop this stream. <laughs>